Hey you! Welcome back to the Dugout and Beyond. And hey, we had just had the probably one of the biggest fights uh, in basically recent history, by number wise and kind of craziness and historic wise, um, happened with Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. Of course, uh, Mike Tyson hasn't fought a real um, match in over in like 20 years, basically since Jake Paul was in probably middle school in some way. But yeah, this fight was insane as we of course had a cra also a crazy card on it with um. We had um, about seven fights here. Uh, of course, Jake Paul Tyson first um, is the main card. Of, that was the where it all came down with uh, J um, Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano were number, um, for their second fight after um, with uh, uh, Taylor winning in MSG a couple years ago, and that came down to basically it seemed like. Honestly, it looked like Serrano got robbed in that fight. Um, of course, as we all know, it was on Netflix. Uh, able to see to every single person that has a subscription to Netflix for free. No pay-per-view at all needed for that. Which probably helped bring in so many people. But we'll get to that in just a, um, just a um, little bit. So hang on and um, wait for that. And we had... Um, Mario Ambarios and Abel um, Ramos having uh, Barrios having actually having that and in a split with them both getting knocked down about midway through the uh, match and then the, the first one that actually was on the stream was um n sorry I'm mis mispronouncing these names Neraj Gayat and Winderson N Nunez was a um, unanimous decision with uh, Ga uh Gayat winning that one and then we had three on uh, three that were not on stream that because they all started before the eight o'clock time, which uh, I'm pretty sure that they just can have whenever you show up. There, there usually is a fight going on. That was probably about two hours before um, the actual card happened. But yeah, we had um when Tyson came out with the final the final decisions came out with Tyson um, winning the first uh, when just the first round here 10 uh, 10 9 and then everything else was flipped to Jake um to um Jake here 10 9 for the rest of it as it was 79 73 with it, it looked like I think pretty sure Jake just kind of at that point kind of killed him with the number wise um, going off with that and hit landing punches and it Definitely, if you if you watch any part of the fight at all, you kind of can see a 26, 20, uh, 7 year old against a fifty eight year old just fighting. Basically, just imagine fighting your parents, basically at that point. But obviously, a well trained and physically fit two guys going at it. But you can just kind of see that he was just going, kind of not really going for beating, um, destroying Tyson at first. Actually, in the end, he goes. He goes, I didn't think I, I didn't need to hurt someone that didn't need to be hurt. Um, of course, he obviously respects the hell out of Tyson. Uh, his dad, that's his favorite, um, that's his um, dad's favorite um, fighter. If you watched in the video, um, one of uh, Paul's videos uh, um, not, not too long ago, he actually has him telling his dad, and his dad's like, oh my god, there's no way that's happening. Like, that was, like asking him before, oh, who's your favorite fighter? Tyson is, and then all that happened. But, yeah, this is just insane that it actually happened on this. But now we're going to get to the part of where it was on Netflix and what actually happened on it. So um, a lot of people, there's a, of course a lot of people around the world are going, hey, I didn't have any trouble. Like you're just like your your thing is bad, whatever. Like oh no, like everything's going down. They had a right now. I know numbers could be off a little bit. They uh, there is reported that Netflix will also look into it more th um, during the week during the weekdays. Um, but reportedly about 120 million people. Think about this. There is 280 million people currently subscribed to Netflix. Maybe actually they lost some with that with that happening. But there is a whole lot of buffering going on because they probably just weren't ready for this to happen. Including me. Like I was just watching on my laptop here. I had mine. Uh, I was on my phone and on my iPad at the same time. And Usually when this goes, when one of the iPad or um, laptop goes down, the other one goes down within a couple of seconds, and it wasn't going down. And I was like, okay, so I refresh it, and it went through, and then kind of happened again. I got off it for a little bit, but there was, so um, it was just insane that they had not had that many um, people on. Just keep in mind, we had the Tom Brady roast um, a few m a months ago in, in May. And that of course brought in a lot of viewers, but I wanted to see what that what that number was because there was no no issues at all with that, and that brought in 13.8 million. So he brought in over 110 million more uh, views during this fight 
than the entire Tom Brady roast put together. So you think that one of the literally one of the greatest QBs and um, football players in history compared to Jake Paul against Mike Tyson. Granted, Mike Tyson is absolutely legendary and is already in the Hall of Fame and just came out and everything. But this is just insane. Um, but yeah, but. Uh, yeah, this is it. Everything just started buffering like crazy, and they couldn't fix that because they just would not. Pro they probably weren't expecting this many people. Uh, there's probably what a couple hundred, uh, probably a million or so, maybe a couple high ten tens of hundreds or thousands of people watching Netflix currently. I'm not, so it, it's kind of like we were not. They probably didn't realize how much the servers could handle at a point, which I kind of. See, like in real being in the business, I can, can kind of can see how how that kind of affects the server so much that it's just like you're just hitting so much at one point that it's just like you, they don't know what to do and how to react. It happens. People are. Um, it's technology. Your technology is going to just not happen sometimes whenever it wants. It's just too much, like together at one point. But to go back to the fights here, I got Amanda Serrano for the um, for the co-main event here. Um, of course, it is the second one. The first one was at MSG. Um, I think it was 2023 or 20. Uh, I'm not really remembering exactly when that was. But it, this was the second fight for them. Of course, that happens a lot with um, you know, with rematches. With apparently Katie Taylor somehow won that one and. Besides for Amanda's um, eye just basically breaking open, she should have won that one, I think. Um, it was unanimous position towards Taylor, and it was very close, 95-94. Uh, um, all, the, all the way across is 95-94. There was no flip or anything, but number-wise, the amount of punches thrown and landed was higher for Serrano. Um, maybe just the, some of them were better quality-wise for Taylor in the end, but... I think that was uh, for that. Uh, Serrano definitely, I think, got robbed in that fight. Um, I don't watch a lot, but you kind of can tell throughout just watching it how it's reacting, how people are feeling, uh, looking, and the vibe of what the fight's going on. You can definitely kind of tell throughout it, even if you don't watch too, too many fights through, um, in your life. But uh, yeah, this is, again, a massive event. Um, of course, bringing in a lot of money. Right now, uh, projected before the fight, uh, Tyson was supposed to, was probably going to bring in approximately twenty million dollars, and Paul was going to um, bring in f approximately forty million. That could obviously uh, be a lot more, and I'm going to guarantee you that is going to be a lot more, uh, just because of what's happened and how much, how many people apparently just watched the fight. So this was weirdly a bad showing for Netflix, and also kind of like, oh wow, like this happened on Netflix. And if people can make you actually a lot more money doing this, I'm sure that there will be a lot more people that are trying to get deals with Netflix um, to or just a streaming site in general. Hulu, I'm I know a lot of people. I'm sure a lot of people, a million, oh, hundreds of millions of people have Hulu also. So I can see that happening. But in the end, this is an insane thing. Of course, I'm sure Netflix is all around people trying to get. They obviously have shows going on, but they want to probably have live events like this. Maybe ga games in general, like um, sport, sports games, um, other sports games. But hey, this this is insane. And but yeah, the buffering really didn't help. Um, got little um, seeing seeing at Tyson's uh, back a little bit too too much. And I'm happy that my uh, my stream didn't buffer at that point. But I think that a lot of people did, and they were not. Too happy about that one if you know what I mean you know what I mean um, <laughs> that but uh, yeah throughout it it was just kind of weird like you would turn on and you had to hit live to have it go back to where it was um, but yeah this was I, I you can kind of just kind of nitpick every little thing that happened you have uh, it was kind of with, with Jake Paul with Paul um, Jake coming out you had the entire like he was in a um, custom car that was in it with his brother. He had a million dollar um, suit on for the for the thing, and um, say, um, having the uh, in the air tonight by um, um, 
by uh, Phil Collins playing in the background. If you don't know what that is from, it was actually in The Hangover where Tyson was in Vegas and that song was playing and it has a great great drum line in it. A very, 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 very famous drum line in it and he played that coming out, which if you in a, if you watch the video, he he basically hinted at that and it was like, oh hey, it's something he didn't film. You kind of clicked it right there. Oh hey, it's in the air tonight by Phil Collins. Um, but then you have Tyson coming out and just literally just a beat up shirt, cut up all the way down, and just walking out, not going slow at all, and just walks up. And I was like, all right, this could either be a very very bad thing for for Jake or Tyson's just trying to get this over with and get and get his money, which probably either way, but. Yeah, in the end, Tyson looks. Now, Tyson also said that he doesn't. He's now ruling out another fight, which is just kind of insane. Um, guy's 58 years old. Man, you just made 20 million, probably more than that. But probably a lot more. Take it. Retire. He's already been retired, technically. But just take it and just live the rest of your life. You, like, you might not want to do this unless you're fighting another older person at this point. But hey. Props to him for even doing this, taking the fight, not even probably, he saw this and he was like, money, 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 I need that. Um, but yeah, this is probably, um, this is definitely an unprecedented um, area that they went into and we're not, we didn't really know what to expect. But hey, uh, this man Paul is um, really doing things that people never thought that he would do in general or just someone in someone in the world would do right now and he's making this stuff happen props to him for actually having it happen in general um and he's making he's basically proven a lot of people wrong constantly at this point and he just doesn't care he does, he's literally just going about what he wants to do and he's just doing it and that's obviously something you need to kind of give him props about in the long run here but um, yeah, fight a legend like Mike Tyson. His brother fought uh, Mayweather in Dubai, I think that was, a few years ago. This family just is kind of doing the impossible, and it's pretty awesome to see. And it kind of inspires me also in also to be like, hey, like, just do it. Literally just do it. Um, you don't really think about, the, um, think about the consequences after it happens to a point for some things. But, yeah, this is awesome to, awesome to see. And kind of interesting to see what will come next uh, in these fights. But in the end, um, Tyson, he definitely looked like he was definitely tired and hopping along. He was not moving. He was literally in, just in the circle with Jake going around him, going coming out of the cir um, coming out of the center a couple times for some big punches, and then kind of just sitting back down. Um, at the end, you do have um, Paul at the last like, ten when they hit the bow for the last ten seconds. Um, Jake just kind of finishes it, bows to him, praises him like, like you're like you're a legend and whatever, um, and basically just ended the fight with ten, with ten seconds left, and that was it. But yeah, it's a great card. I think probably the best part of it was the women's fight in general because it was basically a rematch. It thinks I think Serana wants a rematch. Be like, hey, like I think I was, I definitely was robbed in this one. A lot of people do think she was, so we might. Be seeing a rematch. Don't I've been seeing something about it, but hey, uh, again, insane, unprecedented uh, kind of stuff going on here. And I'll see you in the next one. Hit that subscribe button, um, like button, show us your friend. Um, tell me what you think about the fight and how you what you what you experienced throughout it. And I'll see you next one. Peace.